and let's talk about design, which can be very tricky. However, I have five steps for you that you can apply to any report to make it look better. And we're going to apply these steps to this report page over here. And after we're done with our five steps, it will look like this over here. Now you see quite a transformation. Now let's get started with step one, which is alignment. I often see reports where the visuals are not well aligned or the spaces in between the visuals are inconsistent and that gives a very messy impression. Now here we could go for the same height and same width for each table because none of them is really much bigger than the other. Now let's set the width to 500 and then we can give the tables also the same height. Now I want to have a little bit of space here on the left hand side of my report page. So let's say that we want to have 140 pixels over there. Now of course if I have 140 pixels there on the left hand side of my report page, I also want to have 140 pixels on the right hand side of my report page. Now when you have the most right visual where you want to have it and the left one as well, then the middle one or the middle ones, those are very easy to position. You just have to select all three in this case. And then you go to format and then here under line, there we have distribute horizontally. And then we can just do exactly the same for all of the other visuals. You probably notice that here the titles of each visual are very squeezed to the border. And that is not great. We like to have white space, white space around the main visual and also between the visuals. So what we could do just for now is put a white shape in the back of a visual in the same color as the background of the visual and create some space around it that way. Compare the visual where we created the padding with the one that's right next to it. Well, that one feels much more cramped because there's no space around it, all right? So work with white space. Now, if you have a lot of these card visuals, there's also every time a space in between and it might be a little bit much. So what you could do is also have over here a shape in the background and then place those cards on it. And then you see we have just one block with all of the KPI values on top of it instead of having four separate elements which might feel like a little bit much. All right now let's apply this then also to all of the other visuals. And now it's time for step three which is the corners of the visuals. Usually I don't go for 90 degrees corners instead of that I round them a little bit. All right so now it's time for step number four which is borders and shadows just to elevate these visuals a little bit from the background of the report. Now, a lot of people just stick with the out of the box shadow which I think is a little bit too strong. It's probably a good idea to soften it a little bit. Let's go again to the formatting options for the page and then canvas background now a color that I often go for is 240, 243, 247. Now what is step number five? Well in this step we are going to choose a color theme for our visuals and give it the finishing touches and bring that layout into a background so that we don't have to load every single shape 